Hello, I'm Ray Worth of Water Walker Kayak. Today we're going to talk some about stand-up paddle boarding and then you'll get to see what it looks like out on the water. We have two different types of stand-up paddle boards here today. We have um, the, this cruiser koa, which is what they call a soft top. If you feel it, it it's, um, has a little give to it, has pretty good um, friction so you don't slip around on the board. And if you, ha if you want to sit on the board or lie on the board, it's a softer surface to be on. So those are very comforting, comfortable boards, especially for beginning and intermediate stand-up paddle boarders. Another type of stand-up paddle board we have here today is the Cruiser VMAX. So you can see this one has a bamboo inlay on the surface. It's a fiberglass and um, resin composite construction and it's a little stiffer, a little faster in the water. Um, both are boards that can be paddled by beginners and intermediates. In order to get out on the water in a stand-up paddle board, you obviously also need a paddle. And these paddles, compared to a sea kayak paddle, have only one blade, of course, much like a canoe paddle. They are adjustable length, so people of different um, heights can comfortably use them. And depending on conditions, you also might want to adjust the length of your, of your paddle. One of the great things, one of the great things about stand-up paddle boarding is the simplicity of the sport. As a kayaker, I've really enjoyed the fact that once you put on your life jacket, which of course for all water sports is a piece of essential equipment, but once you put on your life jacket and grab your paddle and your board, you're good to go. If you're going on a trip that's a little longer, of course, you need, you want some water and some sunscreen. On a paddle board, you might say, well, where do I put those things? One solution is um, a small dry bag with an oversized twist tie. And as you see, you can see the paddle boards have these small fittings where you can lash things down. Um, there's another one right here. So obviously you can put essential items, car keys, sunscreen, things like that in your small bag. I also like to wear a, um, a, a waist pack and you can obviously put some things in here, although I need to be careful not to put anything in there that, that can't get wet. I like to keep a water bottle right in my waist pack and that way when I'm up on my paddle board I don't need to even bend over, I can just swivel it around and take out my water and have a drink um, and, and be on my way. Before we launch, there's a few things about safety um, to keep in mind. As with all paddle sports, we already mentioned the life jacket. Another good thing is to always paddle with a partner um, if, if, you, if you possibly can. Um, obviously, that makes it safer. Um, do check the weather forecasts. If you're going out in the ocean, check the tides. Um, currents are always strongest at mid-tide. Especially as a beginner paddleboarder, you'll want to go in very calm and controlled conditions and work your way up to, to paddling in some waves and winds and, and currents. Okay, so now we're going to take this board and, and get out on the water. This board is about 12 feet long and the width is about 32 inches so it's quite it's a very stable board. Before I get up on the board I'll just mention that um, I'm wearing nylon um, shorts which dry quickly and a poly pro shirt which again if I do get splash or wet it dries very quickly. With paddle boarding um, bare feet work really well it gives you a good grip on the board and keeps your body weight low as opposed to something that has, um, you know, raises you up due to the heels. When you first get start paddle boarding, we have people initially just kneel on the board. The, um, the hand holder right in the center doubles as a mark for the center of your board, both width-wise and length-wise. So you can set your knees equidistant on either side of that and kneel up and the board feels very stable. Initially, some folks, their first entire first day, they may spend um, just kneeling, getting the feel of the board, and that's perfectly okay. 
when you're ready to go to the next step, you're ready to stand up, you can put your hands on both sides of the board. And stand up, knees slightly bent, centered on the board. And again, just getting the feel of how the board um, feels in the water. There are many health benefits of stand-up paddle boarding. It gets you outside in the fresh air. Um, it is an aerobic activity. Um, much like kayaking, it works the core, um, but even more than kayaking, it works the entire body because you are standing up and we Americans spend too much of our time sitting. So it's a great sport to get you up and on your feet, working your balance and really working these core muscles and strengthening them. All right, enough talk for now. Let's, let's get out on the water and I'll talk a little bit about some of the techniques that you might want to use. So again, my knees are slightly bent. I'm gonna perform multiple strokes on one side of the stand-up paddleboard or SUP. Um, the bl I, one key, just like kayaking, is to bury the blade at the top of the stroke. So I wanna drop the blade into the water and pull gently back in a straight line going in the direction that I'm moving. When I'm ready, I can switch sides. I can rudder using a little reverse stroke if I need to. With each stroke, I wanna bring my hip on that side of the stand-up paddleboard forward, as well as my shoulder. So there's a lot of torso rotation going on. The strokes are much the same as in a kayak or canoe. We have a forward stroke, which is what we spend most of our time doing. Again, focusing on rotation. The stand-up paddle boards have long fins, which helps keep them straight. But I do need to switch sides occasionally. In order to turn, I can do a sweep stroke, which is just a wider stroke. Again, much like in a kayak. I can also do a reverse sweep on the other side. So as you can see, the paddle boards will turn quite easily. Depending on where you um, will be paddling will influence your choice of boards, but again, um, all boards can be used on all waters. Our, we don't have a lot of surf here in Penobscot Bay, so uh, no matter what board you get, you can use it in the ocean and you can certainly use it on the calmer waters like this. We do have a lot of great places to paddle in Belfast. We have um, Swan Lake, we have Goose River, we have the Little River Reservoirs, we have of course um, Belfast Harbor, we can go up the, the Pasagasaw Waukeg River, so uh, many great chances to get out on the water. I hope to see you out on the water, and if you have questions or would like some help in getting started with stand-up paddle boarding, let me know. Thank you.